Hey everybody, welcome back to another Ramadid episode. In today's video, we're going to showcase the new blood contract system, how you can use it, all that kind of stuff. This will be coming out in the update 0994H. So if you don't have that yet and it hasn't been announced, don't worry about that. It'll be coming out soon. With all that out of the way, let's jump right into the actual system. So as usual, we can head into our cube, go to the recipe menu, and we're going to head to the custom tab. Scroll down a little bit, we'll see the blood contract section, and this is the uh, recipes for that. Um, so uh, how it works is you're going to have unique and set cores uh, that you've hopefully been storing uh, in your storage bag this whole time. And then you can combine them with the item type you'd like. So let's say a weapon, armor, jewelry, um, and then either a magic ring or a magic amulet, uh, depending on whether you want a unique or a set item. Um, so as with a lot of the uh, things in this mod, um, we'll be adding more items, things will kind of evolve over time, but as of, again, this update, this is all how it'll function. Um, so with that out of the way, let's kind of showcase it and uh, um, explain how it works so you can do it yourself. Um, so for weapons, uh, it doesn't matter what weapon you use as the input because you're going to get a random weapon as the output. It will always be unique, um, but again, if I put in an axe, I may get a bow. Um, you know, it's just going to be a kind of roll of the dice. Um, for armors and jewelry, you do get to pick what you want. Um, so if I want a helm, I can buy a helm. If I want boots, I can buy boots. Um, so we're going to say that's good enough for our crafting video today. And now let's go buy our magic rings and amulets. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and gamble those real quick. And so let's just say we want two uh, unique, so we'll get two rings. And then we want to make a set also, so we'll get a amulet. And now we're ready to begin crafting. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take our storage bag. And you can see uh, I have 83 unique cores and 143 set cores uh, listed at the bottom. And again, it's going to use 10 of these each time, at least as of this patch, um, to generate these items. So we're going to start off with our weapon. And again, we're going to say we want a unique, so I'm going to toss in a magic ring. And we're going to go ahead and transmute that to get our blood contract. And it will tell you what you get, that I will get a unique weapon. So let's go ahead and cube that alone like it says to get our free unique. Or I guess not free, we did pay for it, uh, but you can see um, in this case I got an elite base uh, flying knife. Um, so, uh, you know, a better roll than most, it could have been a, a cruddy normal item or something like that. Uh, but as you see, it's just going to generate a random weapon type. Um, so, uh, you know, just know that going into it. So, um, with that said, uh, we've taken our luck there. Let's go ahead and make a unique... Um, helm so again we'll toss in a magic ring and we'll get our blood contract for a unique armor piece and then we'll get our unique helm from that so this time it happened to be pretty close to the original item type um, and let's do the same thing now for a set item with some boots and a magic amulet and we should have our set item there and there we go um, and so that is a way that you can take uh, those cores that for items that you definitely don't want, um, you can just kind of sacrifice into the uh, quality of life bag and then use them to generate something that you might need later. Um, obviously, you won't always get what you want, um, but it's a way to kind of recycle things and uh, make use out of stuff you definitely wouldn't have gotten use out of before. So um, I hope you guys can enjoy the new system, and uh, thanks for sticking around to the end. Take care. Bye.